Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Radio Code 102. Now, this was sent to me two days ago. I did open it, but I just want to make this video to show you all its features because I think it's pretty cool. So, it comes in this box here. This is a protection box, and then you open it, you get to the its main box radio code which I think is very professional looking there we go. I'm gonna take this thing off there we go then first thing you get is this thing where you can scan this and then it leads you to the thing where you download the app for it and all that kind of stuff and the uh, manual I'm gonna put this to the side and here's what you get in the box. Charging USB cable, USB-C, and then the radio code itself. Immediately when you hold it, very nice feeling. Really solid, really light, which I like. Put this to the side. And then all you have to do is hold it for three seconds and it'll turn on. Very good. I even like the click sounds it makes. Now this isn't really a Geiger counter, it's more of a uh, scintillation detector. Because in there it has a scintillation crystal. And yeah, pretty cool. Now this has more features than it looks like it does. Hold this down. And then that was just the sound of it connecting to something, aka my phone. Now, here's the monitor mode, which I'm in right now, and if you press up, it gets you to microsieverts, aka dose rate. This is the count rate. Right now, it's adjusted to CPM. Now, if you press this, and go down to dose, this is, well, the dose, duh. And then, there's search mode, which allows you to find things pretty easily, especially when looking for uranium or something. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, yeah, there's also a light. This is how you turn it off. And then you can turn it back on. Let it adjust a little bit. When this gets to like 8, then uh, it's pretty good and sensitive. This detector is very sensitive, actually. I'll show that in a second. So, there, you can also get a spectrum. And yes, this detector can do gamma spectroscopy. So right now it's stuck at the spectrum of americium 241 because I was testing that earlier. Now I'm just going to show you it's up. So you just press the up. And then, nope, not deny. Gotta do that again. Hold on. Okay, got it. Now allow, while well, using the up, allow all the time. Then plus Bluetooth, then it should connect. I'll turn up Bluetooth. There we go, radio code 102. Then you just press OK. Connecting, initializing, yep. And then it's connected. There we go. Now this counts, counts per second. Microonkins, you can switch that to microsieverts. Now the coolest thing I want to show you is spectrum. This does gamma spectroscopy. I want to say restart accumulation. Then you can see the spectrum start to form for the uh, for the background. Now what I want to show you is this. These are some thor thoriated mantles, right? Put this here. Put this on it. And there's the alarm. There we go. Then here, you'll see a spectrum start to form. You leave it for like five minutes and then the spectrum forms. So I'm just gonna pause this. Okay, now that the spectrum's formed a little bit, you can take this and then put it over this, oh, oh, oh. put it over this peak and this peak and all the peaks we can see. So if I put it to this peak here, you can see, let me get that right. There we go. Lead 212, it says up here, and then it says chain thorium 232. 
Now these do contain thorium, so that's correct. And you see the one I put there, and then all these others are things that appear with thorium-32. The more of these there are, the more you can confirm it easily. So this one's there, there's a peak still forming there. Peak there's definitely there, so we've identified that this is definitely thorium-232. So, just because if you're not happy about this, I'm just going to put it there. There's also a peak of actinium-228 that's also in the decay chain of thorium-232. <coughs> now here's the alarm going off again. Now let's try something else. Something a little bit more spicy. Here I have Amersum 241, 0.9 microcuries on a button. So, uh, here it is. There you go. I'm gonna put this down. And then here I'm gonna press restart accumulation. Yes, and then here we go. I'll put this over the source. And then look how high this goes. 100, wait, let's put it on perfectly. One. Let's see. A hundred. Oh, what? What's going on here? What? Spectrum, okay. Let's see. That just a little bit. That's a hundred and forty. 140-ish thousand counts per minute. Now this may look kind of dangerous, but it's only dangerous if you're near it for like a long time. But it's also less dangerous because the uh, the gammas coming off it are pretty low energy, so they won't really harm your cells that much. Now I'll stop this for a second. And then take another look at the thing, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There we go, so if I put it onto this one. Boom, up there, I'm resting 241, which is 60 kilo electron volts. So that's pretty low energy. And then you can see this other line here. If we put our cursor over that, also says Amaristium 241. So we've identified that this is Amaristium using this little device here. Pretty cool. Other features of this app is like the search mode, which pretty much just displays what's here on there. Oh my god. Hold on. Pretty much 2,000 counts per minute. There we go. Now that's just a lot. 100 times. Yeah, so we times that by 100. Oof. That's a. Uh, Almost 200,000 counts per minute. That's a little scary, not gonna lie. I'm just gonna put this right over there. Okay, so let's see what you can do with this. Let me focus that. Come on. Uh, there we go, okay. So you can press this, press it again. Let's go to Spectrum. Actually, no, let's not go to Spectrum. Uh, let's go to search mode. Yeah, this is what I want to show you. So, pretend this is a piece of uranium ore that I can't really find. I'm looking around. I'm looking around and senses is some higher. You can see these go down and this peak appears. So, if you can't really hear it, if there's wind or something, it's well, pretty easy to find it. Yeah. Pretty cool. And then what else you can do with this is turn this. Okay, you have to focus that again. Focus, focus. There we go. It's not focusing still. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then if you go to settings here, you can adjust. Okay, this light is being so annoying. There we go. You can adjust the measurement units. 
Dose sieverts or ronkins. I'm gonna keep down sieverts. Count rate CPM or counts per second. I'm gonna keep down counts per second for now because I want to show you it. Then count rate, you know, alarms. You can adjust how high you need stuff to be for the alarms to go off. Then same with dose rate alarms. Then if you go down here, there's dose. There's also dose alarms. Uh, no, I'm good. And then. If I go to the back, then you can adjust the screen, rotate, right. Oh yeah, what is going on? Oh no. Back, please. I, what is happening? There we go. You can make it rotate like this if you want. It's pretty cool. You can go to signals and then you can turn off the sound. Turn off the vibrations, which there is vibrations. Turn off the flasher light thingy. Turn off the clicks. Turn off the connection so it doesn't connect to other devices with Bluetooth. Power, Doug just turns it off. Buttons, mix sign when you click buttons, you can turn that off. And alarms, turn alarms off. Okay. If I show you even more settings, this video is gonna last a scarily large amount of time, so I'm just gonna get straight to the other stuff. So here we got counts per second, not counts per minute now. So we're gonna see how radioactive this is with counts per uh, counts per second. So let's see. Gets come up. Oh yeah. Gets around 2,000 counts per second. That's scary. Kilo CPS. Yeah. So not 200,000 counts per second. Just 2,000 count, 2, counts per second, okay? Um, yeah. Pretty cool. And... That's pretty much it. So I'm gonna turn this off. The only downside, well, it's not really that big of a downside because this device cost me 220 pounds. That's $270. So it is a lot, but this does gamma spectroscopy. So that's very good for gamma spectroscopy because first of all, look at the size of this. You can just put it in your pocket and the crystal is only one centimeter. Now in the older days, used to get things like this big, two liters crystal or something, 2,000 pounds, so like, I'd say this is pretty good. Uh, if you're looking to get a gamma spectroscopy machine or something, or just a cool Geiger counter, this is very good, I recommend this. So uh, yeah, two more important things that I forgot to mention is, uh, if you look at the back, there's a plus there. And that's where the sensor is. And if you look at the front, there's this radiation sign, which is also where the sensor is, but from the top. Second thing is this thing lasts 200 hours on one charge. And to charge it back up, you only need to wait one hour. So that's, that's very good. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. And if you want more videos, uh, like and subscribe.